Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. So it is finally that time. I'm starting a new game. This is going to be Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. This was by far the most requested game out of the poll I took. I think it was like 57% out of 70 or 65 voters, whatever it was, voted for this. And I have already played the tutorial missions and I've played a skirmish on this. And I think I basically have the hang of how the game goes. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do on this is I've actually set all of my game options to max speed and I'm going to run this at plus two once I get the ball rolling on my first planet. So hopefully this won't take too terribly long. That is one thing I found. I think my first game that I played on this was like an hour and seven minutes because I went through at basic speed so that I could learn everything. Um, so hopefully this will go through fairly quickly. And then after this, I want to encourage you guys to... You know what? I actually don't know if there's a way to watch replays on this. I'm going to have to look at that. If there is, send me a replay file and I will figure out how to play it. And if not, I'll figure out something else to do with this game. Maybe set up some cool um, victory conditions or do some best of stuff. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and run with this. I'm going to be playing versus a normal AI because that seemed to give me a fairly good challenge last time. Again, I'm very, very new to this. So... I'm not going to abuse myself too heavily, and I have a different faction than I started with before. Yay for learning! We will drop an upgrade on our planet here. Let's No, we won't either. Let's go ahead and build, um, let's build a weapons lab and leave that. Let's see, we've got scouts. I think that's a scout. Let's go this way. I'm going to assume that a navigator is a scout. And let's check out that planet. And our star is way the hell over there. So we're going to probably be expanding left more aggressively, I think, because this is probably the next to the last planet. All right, got my two metal and a crystal. Let's go ahead and build a... Let's see. The color scheme is throwing me because it's kind of opposite of what was happening last time. Let's do one migrator and five frigates. And then we have our capital ship factory. And let's build one all-around good capital ship. Which we're going to place our markers over here. And go ahead and get running with it. And let's see. Let's see if we can go ahead and lay down no logistics slots available so let's open logistics all right one thing that is kind of throwing me off on this game is the fact that i do have a tech tree so yeah i prefer not to play with a tech tree but i think i can get along with this one reasonably well um let's go ahead and drop as many more frigates as we can because basically i want to start a tidal wave of colonization over here and just obliterate everything in my path. So we have two metals and a crystal. I actually need to go, I need to grab this very quickly. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. let's see. Let's go ahead and group these and jump to this planet. And where, there we go. There's my colonization tool. Okay. Decent enough start. Let's go ahead and throw down that so the tech tree on this um there are so many tech trees good lord um and these are all different let's see improved salvaging ah these guys have better salvage than the other ones do phase space monitoring that is very strange i'm going to have to figure out what all of these things do there's our ships. Fleet logistics. That's what I wanted. Let's go ahead and lay down a marker on that one. Alright. I want to come back to this. You're not going to kill me. Run away. I love how ships in this one, they take for freaking ever to turn. And then it's like all of a sudden they just accelerate straight forward. It does behave kind of like I would picture a spaceship behaving as. Maybe not completely 100% there, but whatever. All right, let's see. Let us do... 
resources first, as many as we can. Let's go ahead and jump this way with our forces. Okay, so this is pretty much just going to be an expansion phase, and that is okay. We will get things done as quickly as we can. I'm going to go ahead and throw down another military upgrade. And as soon as these guys jump, I'm going to go ahead and lay down that order. All right, what can we do? What can we do? We've got plenty of resources. Let's go ahead and make another um, scout or colonization ship thingy majigger. What is that? Migrator. Another migrator and a couple more frigates. A group of five ought to be enough to conquer a planet. And here we go. Well, I don't know why all these ships try to immediately target my colonization ship, but I guess it is appropriate. So, things that I'm impress impressed with about this game. It is relatively three-dimensional in space. Right now, I don't have many units, so it's not superbly so. But the more units you stack in one location, the more they kind of turn into a sphere. Um, just kind of encompassing what you're fighting. And... While that is really cool, it's interesting how linear this is. When you think of space, you know, it's definitely 3D. It is a vast expanse where you would think you could sneak attack from top and bottom and all of this other stuff, but I guess it is kind of hard to manage something like that in a game. Hey, Planetary Annihilation tried, and look at, uh, look at how that game turned out. It was not the best. Let's see. We're going to queue this over here. Let's throw down some more frigates. And it's just like Subcom. You always need your frigates. Every single time, every single day. Right, we got five versus two, so this should go very quickly. And then we'll be able to colonize that. Let's go ahead and push our other colonization ahead after we snag our resources on here. There we go. One of those. What do we need? What do we need? Credits. Let's sell some crystal, because right now we don't really need... A whole lot of crystal because we're not building advanced stuff. And that will get us those. Let's go ahead and take our capital ship and move closer to the star. Ever closer to the star. So we're going to colonize this one. And we will lay down our resources again. Bingo. All right, good deal. We are off to a brilliant start. Let's go ahead and move all of our waypoints to the other side, and we can start expanding in this direction. Aggressive expansion is the name of the game. And let's take our entire force and go this way as well. So the zoom, to me, the zoom does not work quite as well as on Supreme Commander. And I know you're going to get tired of me compared... Yeah, tired of me comparing this game to Supreme Commander, but that is basically the one and only love that I have as an RTS game. So, of course, it's going to get compared to that. I do like the faction diversity. The factions are extremely different. Um, I played Terran, maybe? I cannot remember the name of it. I played that one twice in the tutorial messaging, and I drew it on the random for my first... I guess real battle versus CPU, so I don't know how real that can be, but whatever. Um, let's see, going to upgrade all this stuff. Let me go ahead and throw down. We need more credits. All right, so we got military stuff. Let's see what we can upgrade. Um, but um, but um, but um, but um, manipulation. Let's see. Hmm. Where am I supposed to get my... Okay. Resource sublimation comes around on two. So we're going to go with improved salvaging on this one. And we will put a... We'll put a sieve tech on this one. Because we need more of that. Okay, so frigates are going to produce in this direction. Let's go ahead and throw down some more. And again, we are far outstripping our credit production on our resources. So let's go ahead and 
throw the rest of those over there. All right, so let's colonize. Oh, need volcanic occupation. Crap. That's lame. We'll go this way. I should probably scout first, but you know what? I don't care. As you command. Ay, ay, ay. Pirates. Run! Run away! Don't waste my time. So that means the pirates are in that direction. Let's throw down a turret that we can retreat to. These guys are going that way, yes. He is going to beat me, but I think we'll be okay. We're going to place two there, and then our warship is immediately going to come into range. So move, little buddy, move! Oh, that isn't the warship. Ha! That's the colonization ship. What do you know? What is that? That is a scout from the other faction. All right, so let's move in here. On my way. Come in with our orbital defenses. So hopefully this will be a good spot to take minimal damage and obliterate these guys. Let's see, we've got our colonization fleet on this side. It's a good group of frigates. Let's go ahead and group them up and we will progress in this here direction. I don't know if it's possible to kill the pirate faction. In the last game that I played, I damn near lost the game because I decided, hey, let's attack the pirates. And so I found the pirate base and I went after them in full force and proceeded to lose like four capital ships and who knows how many corvettes against them. Basically didn't even dent the pirate base. So I would love to hear if anybody's ever actually killed one of those, whether or not I just need to keep teching and keep teching and grinding and grinding and get like max unit cap and just blow them away with sheer show of force. Let's move some frigates over here. Our fleet is engaged, and we need to upgrade. Um, but -dum, 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 dum Where? Where am I? Okay, here we go. I don't want one of those. Destructor frigates. Okay, those are the planetary assault. And this is going to unlock. Ah, here's my cruiser tree. Alright, so we need to do this. Let's get these two. And then next time I need to go with that one. Alright. Good deal. Good deal. Looks like these guys are going to easily wipe them out. Not even dropping the shield on my capital ship. Those are very, very strong. And this is a problem. All right, we've got our little guy here. Let's make sure. I think he claimed that. Yes, he claimed that. Okay, let's go ahead and jump to this planet. Your plans. Good idea. As you command. All right, looking good. Looking good. So what I've done here, I'm gonna fortify. Um, this planet, if I can, I've got to research. Scouts have discovered a colonizable planet. Um, but um, but um, but um. Okay, where do I go for ah extreme heat metabolism? I need four imperial lab structures, so I need to build another. Um, Hostile forces are siege I need to planet. build another one of these. Planet upgrades are needed. Okay, well then we'll just get more planet upgrades. How's that? Let's explore. We have enough money to explore. I have yet to find an artifact, which is kind of depressing, but I suppose it's to be expected. Um, let's see. Oh no, 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 don't die. Don't die. Standing by. That is a capital ship. Is he going to flee? Yes, he is. Good dealio. All right. Well, we got the sieves here. So we're going to run from that. And let's do ever more frigates to this location. Do we have cruisers now? No, we don't. Because I haven't finished researching my tree. Um, okay. Volcanic occupation. 
check. So that means that we should be able to go down here. Where's my colonization ship? Come here, colonization ship. Is that you? Nope, that is a fabricator. Missile platforms. Where did he go? Did he die? I think he died. How dare you die? Alright, so we're going to queue all the way to over here. And we're going to make another colonization ship. Combat frigate! Jump sequence. And... Let's do a couple of those. Our ships and then a couple of those. Space. Nice! Oh, this one's got four resources. This is going to be a very valuable planet to me. Okay! I watch over that fleet. Seriously? Seriously, dude. Alright. Well, then we're just going to have to push these over here. My occupation thing keeps getting killed. And that probably should tell me that I need to stop putting it in that much harm's way. But we shall just keep going. Alright, so capital ship. Let's move to the other side of the system. And then... Where is our... Ah, there he is. Good deal. Migrator is on his way. Alright, we're already on plus two speed. I'm going to leave it there. Oh, that's scary. There are two capital ships. Run away! Run. Okay, so I want to prevent expansion, and this is definitely a pirate base. So let's go ahead and colonize this one. And let's. Ah, there's my pirates. Absolutely. To where do you send us? It's safe for now. Absolutely. Get away from my pod. You don't need to go there. All right, we're going to throw down a couple more defenses on this one just to protect from this pirate incursion. I think that should be enough. Oh no, it's going the other way. Crap. Let's see. Our fleet has engaged the enemy. All right. Get busy, folks. Okay. Four medals. Holy cow. Alright, so... Why are you not placing? Yes, I'm doing noobish point defense, but that is okay. Let's go this way. Ah, that's a missile platform. Okay. We need more tactical slots. Sorry if I'm getting a little bit distance, guys. Trying to focus a little bit here. Let's go ahead and lay down the rest of our missile platforms. Alright. This is the most effective way that I found to stall the pirates. I'm going to scrap those after these defenses are well laid in. Um, which should be starting in just a few minutes. Let's go ahead and get this way again. There we go. Finally. Okay. So the controls seem to be a little bit pickier on this game. Like, things feel a little bit twitchy almost. Sometimes I flip in and out and it doesn't quite do exactly what, exactly what I want. And I do realize that a lot of that is because um oh so there's not capital ships there let's go ahead and jump back down here oh that's what it is so the capital ships have engaged here oh holy cow i'm actually killing one of these nice well once these guys get up here we will immediately jump 
that their way. And we will be able to hit that. Okay, let's go ahead and start upping our um, upping our infrastructure here. Still more coming. Nope, we're good. Okay. My strength is yours. Goody goody goody. Structure complete. So one of these guys is down. And we will be able to take the other one very, very shortly. Good dealio. Begin the jump sequence. Hostile fleet detected. Structure complete. <coughs> All right. Yet another system is in our grasp. Okay. So these missile platforms should be able to wrap up those. And now we have major issues. No, we don't. Just two little ships. You'll be fine. Here. Let's throw down one of these. Just one. And he jumped. Let's jump after him. Chase him to the ends of the earth. Okay. So we have a... Lockdown position right here with plenty of defenses. So we should be able to just leave this be. I'm going to leave this as a choke point. We can assume that this is the pirate planet, although I should probably let's go ahead and queue a scout and a handful of frigates right here just to be on the safe side. Okay, so we're going to let those guys go there. And then we've got this. He is trying to siege my planet, the idiot. We're going to go teach him some manners on this one. Hostile forces are siege in our planet. Structure complete. Let's go ahead and ready. throw down another one of these and another one of these. Frigate ready. They are fleeing in terror as they very well should. Because I have a mighty force of frigates and I'm not to be messed with. Oh, look. Another little ship. Somebody wants to harass me. Okay. Where's my scout? Are you coming, scout? Did you not ping in my direction? I need orders. Apparently not. Okay. So we're going to go there. All right. So the pirate raid's headed down there. Let's go ahead and queue up. This game is slightly harder to keep track of than the... Okay, this is the capital ship factory. This is... Okay, we're good. I do keep forgetting that I need to be doing this. Offer a bounty, the pirate goes and attacks the other person. Let's think about what I need here. I need more command points because I need another capital ship. I need to raise my maximum fleet size to correspond with that. I do not have enough credits at the moment to facilitate that so I need to go ahead and upgrade my population centers and invest some in my infrastructure and I need to get to the cruisers because let's see which cruiser do I want there should be a heavy gunning frigate There's the Corvette. Structure complete. This does not have the same options. Enemy forces have arrived. Ah, here we go. That is the one that I want, which means that I need another um colonizable planet. I need a couple more of these. Okay. 
So let's upgrade our population centers. Both of those on that one. And, ooh, he is running, running, running. So let's go ahead and throw down a missile defense right here. Hopefully that will attract his attention. And let's upgrade our population center here. This one should be fully upgraded because it is our capital. Yes, it is. Let's check on this one. Structure complete. This one definitely has some more available. I'm just making mass out the wazoo here because I have so many metal planets or metal asteroids. Metal, I keep saying mass. That scout's just pinging along the outside edge of everything. And yes, that is the pirate fortress. I did not even see the scout ping it, but there it is. Good to know. So we can effectively lock down where that is coming from. Okay. So this is going to be our base of operations. I can assume that one of the planets over here is our enemy's capital, and that is where I want to strike. So let's go ahead and pull... See, our frigates are over here. And our capital ships. We should have enough to attempt building a capital ship now. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and build another one of these. Um, and our frigates. Let's research. This is part of what I don't like about a tech tree is because it's not nearly as fluid as some games that don't have a tech tree. Let's go ahead and upgrade that, and then we need to... We shall rule again. Upgrade a weapon system. Okay. So we should be good. And that puts us low on credits again. Because we're always low on credits. Because that's how life works. Okay. Let's explore this, just to see. I'm hoping that I uncover an artifact, because again, that's something that I have not done yet, and it would be quite entertaining to find one. Let's go to our cruisers, and now we can make heavy cruisers. Let's make a whole bunch of those, because those are incredibly strong, I found. I may not be entirely correct, but it seemed like the mass-spammed cr heavy cruisers seemed to do the most damage to everything that I came across. And let's go ahead also and throw in a couple of colonization ships because we want to be able to take any planets that may or may not become accessible to us. All right, let's take inventory. We've got one capital ship. We've got several, several frigates. We should have a scout somewhere. What is that? That is a skirmisher, so I need to bring him to the front. Oh, that's the cue from my last factory. Okay. Good deal, good deal. Here comes that scout again. That scout's just pinging around 100% of the time. I probably need to be doing that, but... Meh. Let's see... Too bad you can't send construction units across. That would be cool. All right, since these are behind enemy lines, so to speak, I'm going to go ahead and scrap these. And these, where'd they go? These as well. Free up a few more credits. We can throw out some more cruisers. Let's go ahead and upgrade our fleet logistics again and get another command point. And I think we will very, very soon be able... To attack. Let's go ahead and attack. Let's group these and see what's on the other side. Let's go ahead and set our cues here. The capital ships seem to be significantly cheaper with this faction. So apparently they're probably weaker they're probably weaker per ship but I'm supposed to just spam them okay so let's see we're going here 
More cruisers. It's funny how many uh, names spaceships share in common with naval ships. So something that interests me, I read, or I read, I still read a lot of science fiction. Although nowadays it's more like short stories on the web as opposed to actually picking up books to read. But one of my biggest things that I love to do um, when I was younger was read this old science fiction, you know, the science fiction from the 50s and 60s and kind of determine just for the fun of it, um, just kind of look at how realistic it was and try to determine for myself whether or not something like that was actually plausible. And, you know, just have a little bit of fun with it. And you can look back at them, you know, they're fantasizing about computer chips that fit in the palm of your hand and all this kind of stuff. And it's actually pretty funny how much they got right. But one thing, I wish I could remember the name of the author. There was one author that was a real stickler for being realistic. And it was actually really cool because he dealt with stuff like um, solar system wide sensors and things like that. Because honestly, it's unrealistic to expect that you could enter a solar system like in Star Trek and, oh, sensors have picked up another ship. Well, not really because space is immense and spaceships are tiny. And unless you're putting out a huge amount of power, you would not readily be able to determine whether or not there was a ship right there and then like if that ship was shut down you would have to ping for it and that ping would take several minutes to cross the solar system and then several minutes to get back to you and by then you would have alerted the other people to your presence and then oh pirate fleet ah that's not good that's not good at all Let's jump back because that sounds like a smart thing to do. But we have a capital ship nearby, which is going to be very good. Very, very handy. This will be a fast response time. But anyway, I like dealing with the technical details of sci-fi and thinking about, you know, the fact that there's a lot of... Um, science fiction themed RTSs and stuff that deal with galactic scale events and they're basically simultaneous to each other and here you're dealing with the very real fact that you're basically having to you're having to jump from planet to planet not star system to star system and unless you have scouts going across you don't know what's happening on the other side of the solar system and it seems just like a more realistic um, a more realistic game as far as science fiction can be realistic. Why are you locking onto a ship? I I have yet to figure out the method by which this game chooses what it's going to lock onto. That is the one thing that's probably frustrating me the most. Okay. We've got lots of defensive structures going down. We've got our entire fleet engaging. I don't think we're going to have any problems whatsoever there. But we do have problems back home because we have lovely, lovely, um, Let's get on with ships it. tackling us, which we do not want. Let's see. We do want to get our one resource. Let's go ahead and get in here next to the defensive on. cannons. All right, go for it, folks. Got a defensive turret to help you out. Zippity doo da, zipping around, going for the farthest target from you. What the crap, dude? Stay next to the defensive structures because that is the best way to deal with what's coming to you. All right, so now we need to jump back because we have a whole lot of nastiness on our doorstep. See what we got over here. This is holding strong. We're still good on the home front. Let's see what we can do here. Fully upgraded there. We're fully upgraded. Let's go ahead and do... We should probably invest in another capital ship at some point. 
forces have arrived. Let's go ahead and put one of those there. Okay. Let's queue our frigates and corvettes here. See what we got. We can do another command point. And another one of those. Good. Delio. Why do you keep jumping away? What are you doing? Okay, we've already got defensive structures here. So we should be fine. It's just a few frigates. Okay. So let's do... It's another speed increase, because I think I can handle what's coming. Um, brum, 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 brum. Okay, let's make another capital ship. Let's make sure our frigates are spawning here, and let's build as many cruisers as we can get our grubby little mitts on, because cruisers are amazing. All right, our supply chain is getting rather long. But I think we will be fine. Reconnaissance reveals that a pirate raid is forming. Well, your pirate raid can stick it where the sun don't shine because I've got fortifications on every single planet. Enemy forces have arrived. Although I should probably In the Empire's honor. Begin that jump sequence. Another structure already filled. Okay. Pirate, raiders Pirate proof. On the wrong side, of course. <laughs> it is a never ending battle. Not enough crystal. Not enough crystal. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. You're gonna be fine. Oh. Maybe not. Okay. Let's wait for our reinforcements to arrive. Nah, let's not wait for our reinforcements to arrive. Let's group and attack. Oh, ha, the pirates. <laughs> I didn't even realize that it was orange ships. All right, so we got two capital ships moving in, but that is from the... Um, that is from the other player. So we're both going to chew out the pirates, which is going to damage his fleet as well. And that's going to allow me to catch up slightly on my stuff. Good deal. Good deal. Good deal. Let's see what we got here. Whew, lots of stuff. Not enough to stop me, though. Planet is under siege. We are doing well. Let's go ahead and move. And where's our pods? There we go. Migrators, that's what we need. So the more units you pack into one spot, the more 3D it gets. Because when they all try to pack into one area, they kind of end up clumping up, which I find completely cool. The camera is kind of trippy on this one. All right, I'm relatively back. There we go. Back with everything oriented in the right direction. Okay. Many damage. So many heavy cruisers. All right, let's get our factories kicking over here. Still can't build any of those. Okay. And these guys are failing. Good. So that has been defeated. I still kind of want to try to kill the pirates, but I'm not going to because I don't want this game to last an hour. So we're just going to go ahead and do what we need to do. Woohoo! Obliteration! Oh, this is the capital. Ha! <laughs> They're pulling all of their ships back in to defend this. I did not even realize. It has the crown. Of course it's the capital. 
and it is very, very nearly dead. Well, if that's the case, then I could save up and actually assault the pirates. Let's see what happens when we do. We're going to go up to six speed. Why not? Let's go to eight. Defeat is imminent. An enemy's capital has been destroyed. Kaboom. Planet lockdown complete. You dead. I own you now. You are all my slaves because I captured your capital. Okay. Let's see. Where are these guys jumping in from? Oh, they are jumping in from the other side. Okay. That works. Um, let's pull some more. We have enough now. Let's go ahead and get another command point. And throw down another military structure. Another thing I have not done yet is built a Titan. I tried to last game, but it just took so freaking long that by the end of it, I had already won. So there wasn't a whole lot of point left in doing that. So let's go. This is what I'm talking about. It just like randomly. There we go. Randomly attaches itself to a group of units. Apparently completely arbitrarily. And then decides to zoom in and out on that group of units to no end. And no, I'm not holding my finger down on a button. I've already investigated that thoroughly. Okay. Let's go to this side. Well, hello, peeps. Another capital! <laughs> Apparently, we're just going to keep moving the capital down the line. Because that's how we do... Let's upgrade logistics and lay another civilian. Okay. Well, hello. Quickly. Begin jump sequence. So the pirates are actively jumping into this side as well. Thankfully, I have enough of a fleet now that I can very, very quickly just totally obliterate them. Quickly. And we jump back. Do not cross me. And we should be good. Okay. Complete. So now, let's go ahead and start amassing units at this one. For an assault on the pirates. Apparently I lost a capital ship in that last engagement. It was all happening too fast. 20 cruisers. I think that'll be fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade again. Okay. Good dealio. We have all of our ships coming to this area. We got a capital inbound. So we should be fine. Absolutely fine. Research finished. Let's jump. Has joined the battle. Our supporting fleet has joined the battle. Our ships have left Bay Space. I do like the concept of gravity wells around a planet. That does make a lot of sense to me, and it's a really cool idea. So I do like that. And we're going to go ahead and wipe out this planet. So I think this has officially hit the point where... Um, military victory! We're going to go ahead and keep playing. And we are going to kill the pirates if it's the last thing we do. Waging war! On... The outlaws, I guess. I was headed for better places with that statement, and my mind is just kind of melted at this point. I think two games of this back-to-back -back as a learning experience was too much, because this is this is melting my brain. Alright, let's bring our pod ships and go ahead and colonize. Keeps putting the crown up above all kind of craziness. Let's go ahead and jump here. Planet 
lockdown complete. All the nice. All right, let's throw down some planet development finished resources, and we're going to look for. I suppose I don't need to reset these every time. All right, two command points there. There we go. Good deal, yo. Good deal, yo. Insufficient credits. Nice. Structure complete. Our capital ship shields are offline. How supporting fleet. These capital shields or capital ships are definitely, definitely weaker than the others. All right, we are going to jump to this planet. Begin yes, we are. This way, folks. Discover the colonizable planet. Ah. Begin jump the capital once again. I have yet to discover an ice planet either, I think. Because there's another upgrade sequence for that. That... Yeah, there is. Huh. If I if I remember correctly, these are randomly generated, so it should technically at some point is ours for the taking. generate an ice planet, but I have not yet found it. Also, I need to look up a hotkey for jumping from for jumping from planet to planet in the view. Because that would be good. Okay, they're headed that way. No big dealio. Your plans. Let's go ahead and colonize this. We have massive amounts of units over there. Oh, wrong one. Let's. Okay, we're good. So we have officially colonized the entire solar system except for the pirate area. So we're going to try to launch an offensive against that before the game gets any longer. And we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and mass up as many as we possibly can on this land. And holy cow, we've just lost all of our stuff. Well, crud. Um, let's see. I need my factories. Let's do capital ships and let's do cruisers because cruisers are amazing. Crashing the market on metal because who cares about the stock market when you can build amazing ships? Where did the rest of the pirates go? Oh well. No big dealio. I'm also going to turn off voices in the next one because this is freaking annoying as all get out. I don't think I need that in my life. In the Empire's honor. I don't need Batman with bronchitis telling me what's happening. As far as narration goes, that is just the worst. Oh, if I hold down shift, it goes in fives. Good. Planet development finished. Okay. Well, the pirates are launching an offensive, but that is okay. We'll deal with that. Let's go ahead and launch one solitary skirmisher into combat here and just see what's happening. Phase jump initiated. Ding. Well, hello. That's a lot of ships. Goodness gracious. Okay, we're going to group these. And we're going to impact right there. Now we're going to group these. And impact right here. 
and then we're going to queue up our factory streaming into the pirate area Begin the jump sequence. and we're actually gonna watch this take place credits what did I do oh, I press space ha <laughs> That is home key on the factory that you're using. What do you know about that? So here is our epic battlefield with the star in the background. This is actually really good. It's not the best game graphically I've ever seen, but it is kind of cool. So this is going better than I thought it would. There's a lot of mines. The minefield is quite treacherous. Also, a lot of defensive stations. Yes, yes, of course it has. But I'm asking it to. So you can just keep on your merry way, folks. You knew that this was... You knew it was a suicide mission when you came in. Yada, yada, yada. So apparently it is possible to kill the pirates. It just takes a lot. Because holy cow. So many defenses. Alright, bye bye. You can go ahead and jump out of here, I don't care. You're just gonna hit the point defenses. On the Oh! No point defense. Whoops. Another structure already fills this space. Another structure already fills this space. Alright, we're just gonna build all the defenses. All of the defenses, I say. So we've still got a couple of capital ships over here. I think this is actually going to slowly take this out. Very slowly. I repeat, very slowly. Let's go ahead and jump with cruisers. The mines are also putting a hurting on me. No! Not another capital ship. These guys have some serious infrastructure. Serious, serious infrastructure. Okay. I think we're done. We're gonna win this. All the way to the very end. Hardcore ponage on every front. And now I've hit the rambly part of the night where I know I should probably just go to sleep because I'm making no sense anymore. But at least I now have a good basic understanding of this game. Maybe not good. I have a basic understanding of this game where I can function and expand and do things and I'm not just dying immediately. So I think I should probably try to tackle a couple of harder AI opponents. Then maybe I should jump into the multiplayer. But I think that I can now talk relatively intelligently. That is an awesome effect. Bzzzt. <laughs> nice. I can talk relatively intelligently now about this game. So I'm going to go ahead and do some research, do a little bit of reading, check up on the unit types and the faction comparisons and all that kind of stuff and start delving into this game a little bit deeper. And hopefully I will be able to make it as entertaining as I do Subcom once I get a little bit better at it, you know, because it's hard to talk and do at the same time when you have no idea what you're doing. I love how the population of the pirate planet is 13. <laughs> Unless that's that way for all of the planets. That could very well be the case. Population, nope, 280. I wonder if that's measured in billions. Reconnaissance reveals that a pirate raid is forming. Ha! <laughs> Instant explosion from AoE. That's great. Alright. Hurry up. Die. 
I can't fast forward anymore. Nice. Oh, yes, I can. Nice. Oh, they killed my base. Okay, the pirates are dead. We're good. No more pirates. Other than the ones that are attacking me right here. But I think we can call that good. Okay, that is the end of the game. And I just whacked the snot out of my microphone. Sorry about that. I apologize to all of the headphone users out there. Um, I think that's going to be it. So we're going to go ahead and quit. And there's our graph. So, yeah, running a pretty steady line all the way through. I think that is a good thing. Maybe, perhaps. think that works out well. All right. Well, that was the first run of Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion right up on an hour, even though it's fast forwarded. This game is definitely much, much slower paced than Forged Alliances. I think I can enjoy playing this at least for a while. Um... So I don't think this was a bad choice, but I would love to get your feedback on what you thought of this, what I can think about as I'm going forward with this game. And I'm going to go right now and look and see if there's any way to look at replays for this. I'm assuming that there is because there is internet based multiplayer and there has got to be a replay function for any strategy game that has multiplayer. There just has to be. So I'm going to dig that up. I will see you guys in the next cast on Thursday back with Supreme Commander Forged Alliance, as you are all expecting by now. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and for participating in the channel. It is good to hear back from everyone as far as just getting feedback on what's going on when you participate in the polls, when you comment. I've been trying to do a better job commenting back on everyone that is posting. I got a little bit lazy about it for a little while. I was reading them, but I wasn't actually actively interacting, and it's kind of fun to answer back and talk to everybody. I met a couple of cool people recently that I probably wouldn't have if I didn't. So, without further ado, I'm gonna cut this video off before I actually hit the one hour mark. <laughs> and I will see you guys on Thursday.